Hello everyone, this is Angie. You're in Angie's Pantry today. And today we're doing a Tupperware demo. And I've got some wonderful people that showed up. Yay! <laughs> also today with me is my sister consultant, but also my daughter, Brittany Baldwin. Yes. Hi. There she is. Um, I'll show you everybody real quick. And then uh, what we're doing today is mainly we're just going to kind of demo the products, you know, it's Mother Day weekend, so we got tons of veggies, and we got to put them where? So I'm going to show you. That's what I'm going to do today. All right, hold on, I'll let you introduce everybody to you. Sorry, I'm moving you around. I'm trying not to stop the stove, too. Okay. Everybody at the table, we can see you. Start with Denise. Hello. Denise Fosberg, Brittany's mother-in-law. Angie's sister, Daphne. Sister in law. Lisa, Brittany's sister in law. And Henry. Miss Brittany. Stop working salt. Okay, everybody. So we've been really busy. We're gonna we've got our fridge smarts out. We've got the meat fridge smarts out. We have our impressions cups. Our impression cups. I'm about our impression line. bowls. And I made a wonderful pot of half oh, half yeah. sweet lemon tea. It does taste yummy. Brittany's gonna be using hers. I was just getting my Red Bull in there. I'm sorry. Yes. But we weren't going to do the Red Bull on camera. I was going to go into, <laughs> but I just, Okay. So, um, this is our veggie tray. I've got in here, I've got all my veggies soaking in ice cold vinegar water. Why? Um, because, a couple reasons. First of all, even if you buy your produce and it's... Um, Lemons too, because you know how you use your lemon peel and you shred it. You want that chemical that they sprayed on it to keep it pretty yellow. And uh, so, and, and be amazed. And just a little bit of, like this is the 59 cup bowl. That's a bowl. And I think I put in probably about like a fourth of a cup of vinegar, white vinegar in it. And this one here is our 32 cup bowl. And I, I don't even think I put... Maybe not even a full fourth in there. It makes your veggies crisp, really nice and crisp, and it gets any buggies out that's in there, and it helps get the chemicals off, and it helps per, um, make them to where they're going to last longer in the long run, believe it or not. All right. So right now, What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting up veggies. Got to pull you up a little just so you can see my head. What I'm going to do, why Brittany's showing the ladies um, all the wonderful products that we have. They can dim, uh, check them out. And um, like with the fridge smarts, these ones here, after I clean the veggies, they say put them in dirty. Ugh, I can't do that. Because what if one of the kids came over and grabbed a bite and they were dirty? Ah. So in our French Smart containers, this is a label here that shows you all the products and what to, what to slide your little holes to for air, partial air, no air. That is inside plastic, inside a layer of plastic. So that's not going to wash off. These are dishwasher safe. Again, those are bridge marks. So, uh, what's on special this coming uh, flyer? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I might have Brittany take over on this and tell you what's going on when I'm starting to chop up. I am going to put my peelings in a bag so when I go to make my stock, I have them. I'm going to throw them in the freezer and uh, just start prepping stuff. All right, Britt, I'm going to let you take over real quick and explain uh, about the bowl impressions and stuff. Okay. Go ahead. I got to grab some. Okay. Hi. All right. So uh, for, well, first of all, I'll show you the flyer. In this week's flyer, we have, um, I'm going to pass that around today. Yeah. We have uh, three different sets, good, better, and best options for you. So for the firstly, you can get six cup six bowls here this three and then you double it and you can buy those for 
for these. And the impression bowls are really amazing. I like the different sizes. But then you can add for $120 for one person, $120, you can add 24 pieces. And this also comes with a green bowl here. That's a 32 cup bowl. So it's one, one size bigger than this. So it would sit underneath. And then you add the impression cups. You also get, oh, this is eight, oh, by the way. So you get eight cups, you get eight bowls, and you get eight Oh, that's not good. You're oh, still God. going. Oh, did that hurt? <laughs> Poor camera. Sorry. It's, okay. it's that back. I might have to have Lisa help me figure this out. Oh, here, okay. Go. I got Why the do thing. You have it? Why do you have it leaning that far? Well, because it's crooked. Well, then you're doing that. Sorry, everybody. You do this. There you go. Let Brittany do that. Just a little blooper. A huge blooper. That's why it's live. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so now you guys can see me. It cuts off my head a little bit, but we're good. So, uh, anyways, you get eight reheatable uh, cereal bowls. So you can do oatmeal in there. Uh, just remember, 50% power. Apparently, you don't want to do it 100%. Um, but... Then by going, thank you. Have that back. I will take this back. Okay, so that all for one hundred twenty dollars for one person. But you can divide that into two bowls. So one, one of you would get four bowls, the four cups, four of the heater uh, cereal bowls, and it would only be sixty dollars that way. And then the better deal is you $60 add dollars per person. Yes, uh, not including shipping and handling and taxes. Which is actually a really good deal. It sounds like a lot, but you've got to remember, Miss Dabney, Tupperware lasts as old as us. But I, I just say it, at least she included that in the yeah. shipping yeah. and yeah. to let you know what you're yeah. paying. Yeah. You get what you pay for. Glad but, is not going to last as long as us. Right. It well, definitely not supposed to be paying Glad or Rubbermaid or all that other stuff. Right. Okay, but now, so if you say, for instance, you want to add in this beautiful picture again, this is a gallon pitcher, and it's super nice to have because obviously this up over here means that it's, it's a gallon. I know, I was gonna say yeah. it looks like wow. two pans. No, it's a gallon. Wow, because it's so it's a gallon. Gallon. pan. So, two, two, point, two point one liter, so it's um, a half gallon. Eight three fourths cups. Yeah, this thing says you get a Oh, because that's a different, that's a bigger one. It's similar to Oh, that. oh, I'm okay. I'm I didn't, know, I didn't right. know that. I thought this was it. Okay, okay but no, so this is bigger. This is a, so this is the half gallon. So for another half gallon, you add in one gallon picture. But it is still a pretty pink color. But these are really nice because, um, you know, you can tell when you want to pour. And you can tell when it's sealed. Which, <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so for adding that, you're going to pay $75 per person. So that's $120 value. And that catalog here, you can go back to that page. Is there a way that they can get the catalog without having you just physically hand it to them? Yes, we can show you it on Facebook Messenger or on Facebook posts in general. We can add you into that. We call the crazy so, eight set. Yeah, the crazy eight set. So I'm confused on this part of it. Okay. So I'll figure that out off camera, I'm sure. But well, this is $120, but so is that. Oh, plus $15 each. Oh, okay. So this is actually going to be $150 for your better deal, but it's $75 per person. Sorry, I did not practice before we did this run through. So that 151 is just adding the pictures? Yeah. Yes. And you can also not add the pictures. You instead, say for instance, you want these serving spoons, which are two dollars for a set of two. So say you want to get two of those, so that's gonna be four dollars. And instead of adding a picture, we just compromise and add the super serving spoons. So if you add the pictures, then you're at, you're saving a quarter of those thirteen dollars picture. Yes. Because they're normally twenty eight and you get them for thirteen. Yes. 
because you get two of them, 15 each. So we right. that yeah. would be your one fifty. But now we have this best deal, which the best deal you can get all of the all eight of these, all eight of the cups, eight of the cereal bowls, plus the two gallon pitcher, the one gallon pictures, you get two of those, two serving spoons, and all of that would be $81 per person. A total of $160. It doesn't say on here at the moment. But, yeah, so with this deal going on, I highly recommend you shop for the friend because you're getting the set that you want to get, but you're doing it as a deal with your friend as well. So they're getting one as well. Now, what's the difference between the uh, difference between this one and this one? The difference in those is they oh, serve you got them. two extra bowls. Oh, yeah, them. I forgot to mention those bowls. Now, on the back say, of the flyer, zero, the only difference is the spoon. Yeah, sorry. So, on the back of the flyer, this flyer with the dad and kid playing the guitar. Oh, or impressions mini bowls. Yes, these mini bowls are super cute. I want them. Let me get the zoom up close a picture. So they are uh, just a half cuppers. I believe. I think no two and a quarter cup bowls. And they sit right on top here. So that's another thing you're adding when you buy the best. Okay. But yeah, so but you can get these for ten dollars. Two for ten dollars after placing an order of thirty 25. Add to your, to your impression set with a smaller size of the collection because it's too low in the one per party. So I guess you just add it to this set. So if you bought this, the sixers here for $39. Yeah, one set is two bowls. Yes. And they are super cute. I like them. Uh, by the way, when you buy that set, you're not only getting what you got in front of you, but a bigger, beautiful bowl. Yes, I know that. I'm so upset. I'm can't. jealous. I ain't got it yet. I'm gonna have to Which that. one's that? That green one. Oh, that green one. one. Yeah, that green one's 32 cups. Hmm. I don't remember the sizes of these ones, but so uh, it would sit about this high here. Wow. And they all stack into each other. Let me show you that real fast. Make some more room here. Oh, and I forgot that. While you're on that subject of the big, big one, the colander. Yes. This, well, actually, I thought it fit in this one. It shows. Fits in size like this. I was just going to do it. Yep. Tell them about the budget. Yes, I know. So I didn't think we needed that big, huge one. We don't need it. Well, but I got to have it. We have to have it. It matches our set. You That's can't right. have half a set. Exactly. But yeah, so with this colander in here, you can do your veggies. You can um, let the grain out. Say you're making the spinach something. You know how you have to squish the spinach down? You can do that right in here instead of using a cloth. So that would be nice. You can also, um, if you're making your pasta, you can drain your pasta into your bowl here, then dump out that water, and then just use the bowl for your pasta. Um, yes, they are. They do not go in the microwave, but they do bowls of heat. You know, you can put heat, heat stuff in there. Mm, um, so this is what I was going to show you, though. Even with that green bowl, that green bowl will fit on the outside here. You stack all of your other little ones into your big bowl. That little green one will fit inside that one. Then you just stack your lids back in here. And this is how you would store it. Just like that. So it's not taking up more room than need be. Even with these cups, you stack the cups together and it takes up one slot of a cup and stand, you know, yay tall. Um, with the pitchers, obviously those aren't stackable, unfortunately, but hey, you're going to have it full of tea and water in your fridge. And Juice. Water. Juices. Um, I don't know. You can make yourself a margarita and save it for later. Kool-Aid. Anything. Kabucha. That's that new tea that seems to be really good for men and women. I do want to cut I in real quick not to interrupt. So let's say you're making your onion slices and you don't, you've you got enough, but you just need a little bit more. When you peel your peeling, leave the root on. So that way there, when you store it, it's not going to wilt out on you. It's just a good tip. And then you can cut it as you go. All right. Go ahead, Brett. Sorry. I <laughs> No, you're good. Me neither. Um, so, yeah. You learn something new every day. Yeah. It's what these demos are all about. 
wondering what your doctor kit is over there about. They put it in my spot. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my uh, looking puck. Oh, well, that's very nice. Thank you. My wonderful husband got for me when uh, HSN had him. Yeah. 26 bucks or 28 wow. bucks, something like that. Um, all right. So <laughs> we covered the colander in the impression set. Um, I just really wanted to get that out there because this deal is really good. Lots of people go in. Uh, last month, I did three That's a Bowl sales by doing it this way. So I had six people buying the big oh, best okay. set there. Um, and unfortunately, that That's a Bowl one we're not doing. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But I was just saying, everybody likes to buy together like that because you can, two people can be happy versus the one person getting all of that for that thing about you know um okay so we're going to talk more about these fridge smarts real fast these ones are your meats nice to have here um i guess for meat eaters i just wanted to show these no, what my mom did if you can see the image maybe it's not focusing that's okay you get the picture we'll share it on our actually they did not <laughs> You're right. Okay, and then that will go back on there. Thank you. Um, something else in the flyer here, I want to, or the brochure. By having a party, um, you can get the server layer collection, which if I zoom in on that here. Would you ladies know that when you do your tomatoes, if you've got a tomato pour, these also work great okay. for strawberries. So you know, when having a party, you do the server layer um, collection. These are just like our old. Um, stuff them. basically one, old but new colors or, and they last you know, forever. I remember my mom having these. I'm pretty sure she still has some. Somewhere. You just take your core, but very sharp. So if you book a party with us, you can you have that. It. Oh, that's it. Um, and this little core, believe it or not, it has flavor to your stuff. Put it in there. And that's so cool. yeah, here's, here's the picture in the serving spoon. And then. That's like the little set I was telling you about that you can get for $39. You just get those three bowls that I have. I started off with that. Yep. Then, um, let's see. Okay, so here is your meat marinator. Actually, Mom, do you have that? What? The meat marinator? I think you do. Yes, it's in the spare room. Let me go grab that real fast because with the oh. time coming up. Denise didn't catch it. So on, this, <laughs> on a hefty bag, I uh, throw in the peelings of your onion, your tomatoes, you know, even the bottoms of your onion. And I write it on there, what, you know, veggies for stock. And then when I'm done with it, I'll um, take as much air out of it and stick it in my freezer. And I'll keep adding to it. So when I go to make stock, I just take it out, dump it all in the pan, and it makes your chicken stock. Most golden, beautiful stock you've ever so seen. All that stuff I've been throwing away, I can make stock out of. Oh, yes. Yes. And and you would think like your peppers and stuff like that, mm -hmm. that adds flavor. It's really good. Okay. So I learned something new today, which is exciting. Not really for me, but for you meat eaters. Okay. So this is our meat marinator. As you can tell, it's a pretty nice size. You can uh, put two big porterhouse steaks in there. I think those are the big ones, right? Porterhouse. Um, want these tomato? Yeah. So you put yeah. them in here to marinate it. You put it on your liquid, whatever. Put it in the fridge. Pop the lid on, which you walk around the edge, perhaps. Yeah. Does that make noise? Is that it? It didn't want to go on. It's what? there now. I got it. Yeah, okay. Anyways. So after about two hours, you flip it over, and then it sets and it marinates the other side of your meat, so that mm -hmm. it's getting those juices all over. And if that is thank you to these diamond-shaped things on the inside. Do you know what that is a off. perfect gift for? Yeah, yes. on Father's yes. Day, yes. your husband, all your really even boyfriend, anybody that loves to grill or marinate their chicken or whatever. Veggies, you can even marinate your veggies for your salads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, another quick thing, too, is you could, you know how a lot of people tenderize their meat, their steaks or whatever, with a little hammer? 
you don't have to do that so much anymore. What you can do is put your steaks in here, pour a can of Coke or any other carbonated pop that you want on there, pour that on there, like set the lid on so it's on the back side but not on the front because obviously it's carbonated. We don't want it to blow up. And then after two hours or three days, or three days, three, days. three hours well. or whatever, how long you want it to be tender, you just pour the liquid out in the sink. And then you can add your marinades after that. So it'll be tender before you marinate it, and then it'll be delicious. Yeah. So I want to show that off because it is on sale in our flyer uh, for, let me get there. It's a double duo. So you get this size and you get a smaller size for only $39. Pretty good deal. We also have the hot dog keeper, which I was thinking about for people that like to go camping. You're, you you know, you put the package of hot dogs in the cooler. If you leave them in there for too long, then they get waterlogged. Oh, gross. Yeah. yeah. Well, with our hot dog keeper, you can just lay your hot dogs singly, singularly out here, put them in the bottom of your cooler, and then have the ice be on top. And it won't get waterlogged because it's got a perfect seal on it. Hot dogs, brats. Yes. Uh, we have the hamburger press. We also have the jumbo bread server. Is the hamburger press the, the large hamburger press or is it the medium? It's a size that I don't know. It's our only one. What do you mean? Well, there's two sizes technically. Well, not in here. This is the only one. No, I know, but at this time we're selling, it says hamburger press. It looks like our normal size. Well, it might be a normal size one. But um, we had some uh, sometimes with the flyers, and that might be the one where they're bigger for like a fourth of a pound. Oh, okay. I think you could make them out of the big one, couldn't you? Right. Well, yeah, but up. yeah. I don't know, but with this, you get um, eight keepers. So you can make them up in this nice little dish, and then you can stack them all together, put them in the freezer, grab one out, two out at a time, however many you want. Or you can just put them all in the cooler and take them with you for camping. Um, then your jumbo bread server is an awesome idea, not just to put your bread in, you can also use it to hold your napkins, um, condiments for when you're going camping or doing other things, going out on picnics. After that's um, jumbo oh, bread server. Macaronis. Macaroni. Oh, I see what you're saying. Now yeah. For the, for the hamburger <laughs> press mm -hmm. and the deluxe keeper. Yeah. In your regular book, just the press keeper set is $30.50. Yeah. So you're getting both of them for $29. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's this flyer is a really nice flyer to have because you can give this to um, graduation students as well. I'm sure they would love to have their own start off package. Um, the uh, then we have this cool keep it um, keep it things. All, all, it's an all-in-one large container. So in the flyer here, let me show you what these guys are. No, I just covered that. That would be awesome for condiments, napkins. Well, you're just and right the behind in the class, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what do you mean? She's well, throwing them back to the counter. She's way behind, but that's all. She's I use her. mine for macaroni. She's fine. Oh, do you? Oh, nice. Yeah. You can, you can fit five boxes in my floor in here. Oh, really? Jeez. Awesome. So five boxes of macaroni will fit in there if you heard that. Is that eight ounce box, 16 ounce box? Or? One pound box. Well, oh. One pound box. Oh, so oh, pretty much five pounds of macaroni. So she's yeah. I know. Miss Debbie. Thank you. Would you like I, a I did bring mine. I did bring my scope. Oh, good. Oh, I you see. Like Brittany one. doesn't get one. No, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, well, I thought Brittany would like this kind from Gary's. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I both. I don't care. I'm sharing. She's sharing. Sharing is caring. <laughs> We're talking. Oh, that's true. I can't. You should really go get that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get it. Okay. So for this carry-all. Family, we can do this. Yeah. With this carry-all, we have, our, you can use it for a cooler. You can use it for memories. You can use it for your yarn, for your first aid kit. Say, for instance, we have a... Uh, well, here in Michigan, we don't have much to really worry about, guys. Oh, sure. But for instance, if you're a bug out kind of person that wants to have, in case something hits the fan, you need to reach for home. 
If you can have out. a kit here with your first aid kit stuff in it, you can put whatever you really need in there. They're actually really large. I just watched a video this morning on them. And um, this one okay. lady, so you can have a doomsday. Yeah. Yes, well, yeah, doomsday. Not, that's what I'm thinking about. We live in Michigan. We have snowboards and everything. And stuff. We yeah. talk about power. That's it's true. good to have stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Emergency but, kits yeah. we need for. Uh, but this lady at, at Tupperware, she was talking about how she filled one up for memories. So if she had a fire in her house, she could grab oh. that and then take it with her so all her memories would be safe. Um, and she did one for each of her kids. So I think she said she had three or something for. Oh, well, that right there. This, this is how big it is. Oh, wow. I do a lot of baking. So I buy a 25 pound bag of uh, flowers. This is whole wheat flour that's left. I see that burp. Mm. But the handle comes off real easy. And this has got about 15 pounds of flour. That's huge. And I kept tapping it and tapping it. And you burp it. And look, the flour is still as fresh. And I put my little Tupperware scoops that you get when you're a consultant. Or if you have a party, you know, consultants mess and give you one. Is that a I don't give mine right away. I yeah. keep them. It's a measuring It's a scoop. Yeah, a measuring? Well, it measures a half a cup, I believe. Oh, I just want to know just like if that. it had a certain amount to it. No. No, nope, it's just a scoop. But yeah, I had to show you because you can put a lot in here. Yeah. Before I did this, I made a little cooler. <laughs> We went over to my cousin's uh, camper, and uh, we had a husband bought beer on the way, and I said, oh, I got this in the back of the car. So we got some ice from the pop machine at Admiral, and he put his beer in there, and we filled it all the way up, and we were not get quite a bit of beer in there. <laughs> well, yeah, I was actually counting. They had eight 20 ounces in there with a little bit of ice. Huh. So you could be fit even eight of them in there. But the thing is that you could buy one container for $29. Or you could buy six containers for $168. And if you wanted me to, I could go a step further and break this down between the six of us. We could each get one container, and I bet you it would be a few savings on that. I don't know why they don't do the best, better deal all the time, because I love that deal. I would go and buy everything. So. Um, and finally, we're going to come up to our tear-off flyer, which is in the same brochure, but this ends on May 26th. So in here, you can do the Squeeze-It bottles for $14. You get two of them for that price. I recommend you buy um, two sets of those, though, so you have four. What so, these? yes, those, yeah. So that way there you have four of those. So you can have one for ketchup, mustard, uh, oils, um, you can put your marinades in there if you're going to go out or whatever and you want to add a little bit more of your marinade to your steak before you grill it. Uh, you can pretty much use them for anything. I was even thinking about using it for syrups. Um, like, because there's people that do the ice cones, you know, so you can carry your own syrup with you. We can do the ice cones. We have the shaver now that's uh, called the Fusion Master. It's also in the big catalog. I do not know what page that is. I'm sorry. But, so that's pretty neat to have for only 14 bucks for two of those. Then we have the classic colander set. So you get two colanders. I should show the camera too. Two colanders for the price of $12. One is a larger one, and the other one is a little bit smaller. But those will fit perfectly in your impression bowl. The, the large size here we could put in the bottom, and it would be able to do pretty much like this one does, but it actually has a little handle, so it'll sit on it. Um, then we also have the large tortilla keeper, which is just for keeping in the refrigerator, not for microwaving. Then we have the Tupper Impressions dining trays. I really want these. I know, I do too, they're weird, but I want them. They are freaking cool. Well, they're the same thing as this. Sorry for using your phone. They're the same material as this, and they match your cups. They go right with these bowls, and they match everything. Well, when you all do your picnics, like how you guys do at the lakes and stuff, yeah. and Lisa and Brittany, wouldn't that be great? 
to have your own, you know, plastic container dish that you can walk up with and take it home and wash it. You know what's on it and everything. Yeah, and, so, and it keeps the food separated. Yes, and I, I, I love that. Yes. Like the meat touch. Yep. And, no, I don't um, either. Then with also having that, you don't have to wipe off the kitchen table. You don't have to bring a tray. Yes, you get four of them for twenty nine dollars. That's a pretty good deal. Fifteen dollars. But but all the time I buy paper plates and, and I buy the the heavier ones because you know how cheap ones they, they cut. You can't put a lot on there. Is it what happens? They go like this, and you got the plate for all your foods on the floor. <laughs> um, okay, so that was everything covered in this brochure. Now we'll go on to the um, where's the brochure? What about, yes. Oh, what about the back oh. side? Oh, oh. Get, forget the little balls. Yeah, I know. I didn't forget the little balls. I already covered those first. Oh. She was talking about this back here. I did totally bounce that. Okay. So on the back of that tear-off flyer, we also have the Everyday Essential for Busy Dads and Grads Crystal Wave Divider. If you can see that there. This is actually really large. I don't have I don't one. have anything that would be the size of it. Or what one? This one. Uh, that's the one I just gave you. Yeah, they gave I me. I took it home. Oh. Okay. Oops, sorry. Anyways. But that's a really decent size one. That's only twelve dollars. This sale still ends on May twenty sixth. We also have this Tupperware Impressions bottle cooler, which is nice for wines, uh, sparkling waters. Don't put your two liter in there. Um, I actually have found out today that you can use it as a base. So instead of putting the water at the bottom side and then you know having the tube empty, you put the water on the middle, and you can take this base with you to the park and you know decorate the picnic table or just sit it outside to the inside for when you're not even using it for a wine. You can just have flowers in. We also have the ice cream scoop for only twenty dollars. Um, the nice thing about this is it's got like point to it. So it'll just cut right into that ice cream like it was butter, even if you just pulled it right out. Do you have one of those here? No, we do not. But I do have the garlic. Uh, and then the men's lunch set is on mm -hmm. sale. No, it's not in the one No, no, that's the But I got it. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for the lunch set here, this is $25. You save. Ten dollars on this, but it comes with two sandwich keepers, which we do have. Oh, you? Oh, I'm oh, we have two sandwich keepers. Just a moment, let me go grab them. <laughs> no, I'm ready. Going to look for the sandwich keeper. I'm gonna kind of direct you towards me a little. Show you what I've been doing without dropping you. So now I I've, I've got my in my stack. Cooker or stack cooker? Ha! Stackable. Oh, you got it. Stackable tray. Stackable tray. Thank you. The bottom one, I got my sliced tomatoes, and in there, there's a little tray, blue tray that keeps it off its juices, and then it nicely sets right in, and it's sealed. It's not like if you drop it, it's gonna fall. Oh yeah, it's gonna, but it's sealed enough to go in the fridge. The second layer, I have beautiful sliced onions. For our hamburgers. Now, does that absorb the smell of the? No, it brand? has not. And believe me, I keep these in there for when we have our sandwiches. All we gotta do is pull it out. And then in the top one, I put the Swiss cheese in there. My husband got a hold of that one because it was pretty full, but it's gone. Anyways, so let's say the cheese is done tomorrow. So I will take the lid. And you burp it. Always burp your lids. I will take that lid, take this top layer off, put it on the next layer. And that way there, I've always got something going on there. This can go in my fridge. I'm gonna set that over there or put it in the fridge for me. Yep. Okay, now for my celery, I'm chopping them kind of long ways and I'm sticking them in my pickle, pickle, uh, pickle do, I think they call it, I'm not sure. But um, this is how I like to do my celery so you can pull them out pick them out and they stay nice and crunchy and you can change your water. You want to try to change your water at least every other day with that. Is that vinegar water? No. They all were soaked in vinegar water, but I just put regular water in there. I don't soak it in vinegar water because then you're pickling it. But so that's what I'm doing there. And uh, again, if they're really small, I'm going to set them aside because I've got another plan for them. 
Um, another thing, if I want to make a quick, you know, tray up for if the family's here, I can grab a bunch out, chop them with my chopper, you know, like this, make designs and toss them in there and it works. And fill this up as I go, which that's what the smaller ones are for. Is that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of just fill them up each tray with different stuff. I'm down to the green onions, which the green onions I can even throw in here with the celery, and uh, they work fine if you do that. Um, then all I have left is to do is my peppers and my broccoli, and I got in the bottom here, I got some radishes, which this one looks kind of crappy, but uh, it'll work. Not for my tray. I'll probably cut that up and eat it. But, and then um, I also got my baby carrots that were pre-washed in the store. I didn't trust it, so I pre-wash them too. Um, that's soaking all in the vinegar water too. Ice cold vinegar water It's keeping everything crisp for, for me. Um, so that's what I'm doing while Brittany's doing this. You can also do the radishes. Um, use your apple uh, core thing. With the slices that when you slice it down, it has the you know the slices and it takes the core out. Your apple slicer. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Denise radishes. has never heard of one. No, I'm trying to figure out. You do that with the radishes? Yes. I, what you do is where's you your cut your part? radish about the top and the bottom, and then you would set it on here, and you would push it down, but not all the way, and then you pop it off. And then you would throw it in cold ice water and let it set for a couple hours and then it flowers oh, up and it opens a flower. Oh, it's like a rose. It looks like a little rose. Mm. But I don't have my apple slicer because my husband thought that it was trash and food in that. So we gotta get another one of those. Um, another quick thing I wanna throw in. Um, Y'all know I've been doing delicious. So, guess what came in? My dip deliciouses. A what? Dips. Dip delicious. It's, so, it's the oh, site that I'm affiliated with. It's a company. Um, another good uh, Tupperware gave me this just because of my sales. The dips work in there perfectly. If I'm not going to use these dips within the next three months, especially with the winter, there's summer here, you really don't want to let uh, stuff that you know has like flour in it or anything like that sit to where bugs could grow. So I will throw this in the deep freeze and this will keep as long as I want, as long as it's in the deep freeze. Freezer, deep freeze. Gosh, I'm showing my age. <laughs> All right, if anybody wants any of those dips, let me know, they're $3.99. At the bottom of the video, in the About section, I'll have my Angie's Peeps, which it used to be Angie's Tupperware Peeps. I then switched it to Angie's Pantry Peeps because we're getting more into summer and I'm going to be doing more of my recipes, my homemade recipes for canning and uh, dehydrating and uh, recipes, you know, for picnics and such. So that's a good reason why I changed the names that, uh, like I said before, we discussed that I was going to get out of Tupperware. I'm not getting out of it. I'm just stepping back. I'm not going to be in your face with it. But be known, I do sell it. So if there's anything you want on here, if you can't get it off of my site, my peeps can get it at the bottom of the video. You click on the link and it'll take you right to it. It's shopping at home. It go, You just pay right there. Tupperware is a locked site so um your cards will be safe they don't never call you or nothing like that if something's back ordered they actually send you extra stuff for uh you know i'm sorry type thing um so at the bottom of this video will be the dipilicious uh where you can go to my facebook uh angie's peeps uh pantry peeps and then the uh tupperware site so yeah, not bad. So this is what I'm doing, and I thought I better catch up on the dips because uh, before I forget, like I did the last time. So okay, I'm gonna turn you back to Brittany while she does that. I'm gonna finish doing my dip, my cutting up. Okay, I got the sandwich keepers out, guys. So these two sandwich keepers. 
colors are not the color that you get with this um, dead red orange box. But uh, that you get black and then you get a little sauce cup. But I wanted to show off these sandwich keepers because we also had them in the main catalog for $25. Oh, it's really dark in here, Titus. On that camera? Well, I think it's just because you turned that light on. The main catalog should be 35 to help. These are 25 uh, well, actually, this yes, this lunch set is twenty-five dollars. I'm letting you, you guys know you could buy just the sandwich keepers for oh, oh. Uh, for twenty-five dollars. So you can buy two sandwich keepers. Okay. But um, the main thing that I wanted to show off was that you can actually have them stacked together like this. They seal like right that. Yes, they seal. So, not only could you do two sandwiches that close together to huh. save room in your lunch bag, but yeah, you can also. Outside your lunch bag. Yeah. Right. You can also uh, say you wanted to bring sandwich and chips or sandwich and salad. Yeah. You can also now put a sandwich and salad. Uh, when I went to work like maybe four weeks ago, I put in Triscuits on this side and I put in my little cheese dip on this side. And they then fly together because, you know, they're separated. Huh. So I love this factor about it. I think it's really nice. Um, and there's also another kind here. Oh, Are awesome. they microwave safe? Can you? Uh, I, I do, not think so. do not think so. But we also have in our new catalog, uh, the new catalog, the sandwich keepers um, have a hoop instead of this clip. A hoop. Yeah, so it connects down oh, over top okay. instead of kind of lifting up on it. I want to show that. Um, and then also, well, the other item that is on sale are medium eco water bottles or mm -hmm. jet black that could go with that lunch bag for $12. You get two. No. Yes, you get two of those for $12. So, the hoop is probably because of somebody with arthritis or something. Yeah. It's it's a little tough, I know. What's that? Uh, get me the open. The so you want to have the hoop. Huh? The sandwich keeper? Yeah. Okay, so I showed that off. Now we can continue on to the surprise birthday month brochure. And then I lose it. This brochure is good through May 26th. The items in here are for birthdays, of course. Cakes and other items are in here. Not to buy, of course, but uh, the items to make the cake. So, firstly, we have a vent and serve, serve soup mug, which you can make a personal cake in. It did get really dark in here. Pretty sure it's because that light is on. I bet I got dark. It's getting it's cloudy out, I think. Well, I think it's just all the lighting. It's throwing the camera off, is all. Okay. Then your stack cooker, you can make this first one here in there. You can make a surprise birthday cake with little M&Ms on the inside. Um, we also have a squeeze it decorator. So you can decorate your own cake using our little squeeze bottles that have two, three, four different tips on that. We have the kitchen tool preps and serve trio. So that's can I hear a nice... You you can spread your frosting, you can cut your cake and serve it, and then there's also this tool here that I don't know what that does. Which one? This little one with little holes. It's a quarter. Multi-quarter. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, you use that to quarter. Use, I yeah. see. Yeah. To make yeah. your surprise cake. Yes. Your I thought that you just did that in the stack cooker and it didn't. No, you can do it either or. Oh, okay. Then we also have the cake taker. This is only $25. Originally, it's $39. This cake taker, actually, I'm going to go grab that one. Just real fast. My mom's got all the goods here. Well, kind of. All right. So I've got the onions done and the celery done. I'm just going to tip that up. You can't see what I'm doing, but. Add cold water to it. So yeah. Frick is back. Well, you're fine. Oh, I was going to turn it for you. Okay, so here is the cake picker. She's got it in pink. It actually is this month coming in green. 
So we have a nice flat surface here, but it will twist up. To rock it. I did. Well, to be honest, I don't bake, so I don't need these tools. I'm not going to okay, rock, rock it, and then you then turn it until it clicks. Yep. Until it clicks. And it makes a three tier. Oh. So you can actually put a really big cake in hmm. there. That would be nice to have. It's kind of cool. Not just a cake. I got the um, egg holder thing that you can get when we get flyers, but you can't really show it. Right. All right. So I don't think you can see. I'm going to put the light on here. Twirling on the floor. See? Well, right, yeah. That's true. So we could just buy a cake and put it in the house and make it look like we made it. We never have nothing to put cakes back in. No. When we buy them. Yeah. So yeah, even when you do buy it. Or Pies. You put anything in there. From the stove. I've got your head cut off. So okay. So there's the cake taker. Also, for the hostess reward, is this nice summer jam picnic set. So, you guys you, understand the concept of pulling that up, right? How easy it is to cut thread up? Makes a lot of sense. Making sure. Are you sure? So, what do you do? I'll show you guys close up here. In about okay. 10 minutes, I'll say, what was that? Right. So, so with this, um, when you book a party, book a party, book a party, book a party with me or Angie here, we, once you get to a thousand dollars in two parties, you can get this whole set, which is nine hundred dollar value. No, one hundred thirty-five dollar value. Sorry, nine hundred and two datings, you get the ultimate picnic set. A thousand and two datings, you get extra host credit. So. You not only get two hundred dollars, but you also get an extra two hundred dollars for just twenty-five dollars more with a thousand dollars sale. So a total of four hundred to shop the catalog for the drop. There is a lot of things you can get from Tupperware for four hundred bucks. Let me tell you. Um, but I wanted to show this kit off because you can't buy this, unfortunately. You can only get it by having a party. So even if you got a nine hundred dollar party, you would qualify for this nice picnic set here and I do like it it's pretty nice um, you get this nice lemon pitcher it's actually got an infuser on the inside so you put your lemons in there strawberries cucumbers whatever you want your water to taste like you can put that in there and it'll infuse the water um, we do have these containers these are actually part of our giveaways not in square shape our giveaways are blue and circular but oh, okay. But those come with these nice squares. And then that picnic basket is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty big. I have one. You do? Yep. Is that what you put up in the car? Oh, never mind then. Okay, but then on the very back of that little brochure, mm -hmm. we have this cute little party set, which I should have brought mine. But we have this cute little party set. So it can hold one okay. cupcake. Kids. Yeah, right? this is for kids. Yeah. You say they're just for kids. What if you want to buy yourself? It, it's, it's really well, small to me. It's for kids. Yeah, but, but it's true. You could use it for you. Yeah. I mean, that would be cute. But it'll hold your cupcake and that little cake taker that's for kids. And then you've got this little um, glasses that are about yay big. Shot shot. Yeah, they're about shot glass size. <laughs> then you've got four plates that come with it and also the little cake cutter. Is pepper, anybody? Yes. Mm. See, it could be for adults, but it could be, yeah. And yeah. Mm -hmm. and you can get alcohol with the yeah. with the shot glass and the cupcake. So, yeah. <laughs> that that margarita. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, it would be just a little size. Each shot. Oh, right. yeah, so little shot. Sure and... this thing into adult version. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I saw right. her son at the place a couple yeah. weeks ago, and I said, <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, why not? You know, I mean, why not let it be for you too when the kids aren't playing with it, or if you don't have kids, get them to it. Because we're not special. Well, I mean, we got a couple that. girls over just for a little. Right. You know. Yeah. Right. Great. Well, anyways, so that was all I had in that grocery. We really don't have much many um, items in the catalog. Catalog that's different from over the summer, you know, the summer and fall. The main thing is this um, 
Fusion Master, yes. So we have a survey maker. I'm on page nine. You're like all along the bed catalog here. Oh. I knew I saw you looking at me like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so page nine here. We have a sorbet maker, and it comes with. Oh, let me show the camera here. Oh, sorry guys, I'm trying to look over here, and I'm going way over here. Hi. Okay. So. This survey maker is $99 for the machine itself, but it's nice because you can add on these other items. You can get the shredder accessory for $59. You can get this um, juicer accessory for $49. You can get the mincer accessory for $59. And then the survey maker is $39. So, you know, you can buy the machine now. Get your accessories later down the road, you know, two weeks, you've saved up the next I month. have that. <laughs> I have the mincer machine, oh, and I have the shredder. Oh, nice. And you like your shredder, don't you? I use the shredder a lot, and I have my KitchenAid um, shredder that I used to use for shredding the cheese, because you know, uh, when you buy shredded cheese in the store, they have to preserve, put preservatives in them. To keep them from uh, being uh, going back. So I don't know what they use or nothing like that, but um, cornstarch. I don't oh, think it's corn just cornstarch. Yeah, I think there's other chemicals, to be honest. And I think you get more out of a block. But you you'll get more out of a block, yes, of cheese than you do when yes. you buy a package, to be honest. And if you don't have to use a whole block, you don't waste any, you know. Okay, now I'm going to jump to page 22 here. 22? Yes. I'm almost there. Already made it. Oh, nice. I was happy then. I had to go back. All right, these are our <laughs> classic takers. Let me show this. I have red pepper. Anybody? Real fast. Oh, uh, there we go. Pepper? So I'm going to talk oh, about all, all of these classic takers here. Mm. <laughs> you need one of those snack plates. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we don't oh, have Well, um, Normally on the demos, we don't eat. <laughs> okay, so we have the regular taker, rectangular taker, sorry, for $49. You can have um, muffins in there, or it can be, you know, like this twisty one here. Except for this, that one doesn't twist, it just comes up that high. Oh, that flips over? Oh, yeah, flip the base. Yeah, we flip the base over. Uh, then we have the round cake taker. Which is more for pies, I'd say, or you can use it for salads. Use it for whatever you'd like. Then we also have the snack store large container. Now that's the rectangle shape. And in there you can also get the um, egg tray inserts and you can lay those down at the bottom. Or you can just use it for a rectangle cake as well with the same uh, top. Uh, we have the jello bowls, which are pretty nice. Mom makes bird seeds. In the jello mold, she made a bird seed wreath. Yep. Uh, that's really cool. We have a micro pro grill on page 27. I love mine, I still use it uh, a lot. I'm not much of a cook, as you all know by now. Oh, these guys know. <laughs> I don't cook. I can. What make did you cook in a, the last? I did my mushrooms. Yeah, I did my okay, mushrooms in there. And they turned out really good for yes. being diced up and put in there. Really good. Uh, we have the pressure cooker, page 29, which my mom uses a lot. She loves that. We tried doing refried beans from there. Yeah. The, we put, so she soaked the beans in water for four hours, up to four or more. Well, she didn't do it for that long. We no, I only had it for like a half hour. Yeah. So, um, well. but then once you do that, then you can mush your beans up and have yourself some homemade refried beans. So, but you can do chicken in there, you can do uh, meat. Uh, we have the smart steamer on uh, page 31 there. Um, I don't have one of those, so I can't really speak for it yet. I haven't used it. The smart steamer, I got one. Yep. <laughs> I just got it. That works wonderful for steaming. I haven't used it for anything else. Oh, good. So then it does work good. Yeah. All right. Then we have the stack cooker. Now, I really do like my stack cooker. I use this about four times now, I would say. Um, I'm not using it every day or anything like that. Sorry, guys. There you go. So, so the stack cooker. Yes. Yeah. 
And you did a pineapple. God, it was so good. Too. Upside down pineapple. Okay. And yeah. you didn't even need any frosting on it. Wow. I mean, my granddaughter even ate it. She did not even complain about the frosting. Yeah. Did, did it taste like a, a Twinkie almost? Yes, it did. That's what it was. It tasted like a Twinkie. Because she used a uh, soda. Yeah, which one did you use? And a soda of lemon lime. Lemon lime, lemon lime from the dollar store. And a box of lemon cake. And then I put the pineapple in the bottom first. Which you probably have that video on. Yeah, it's yeah. and yeah, yes, it'll be on my uh, YouTube site. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's really good. Yeah. Yes, and then I made an eggplant lasagna in there. I still have to go that double for that, but I did that a while ago. We have that. Yeah, I had to try it. Yeah, I should have peeled the eggplant, which mm -hmm. I didn't realize. But, you know, really? I learned things new. Yeah, I didn't yeah. peel it. I didn't do that. Oh, well, it was a little tough for us, but you can do three meals in here at once. So you can do your meats at the bottom. You can do, um, this shows a like, well, this, no, it's not casserole. It's right like down there. Yeah, potatoes. Yeah. What? Oh, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just showing from the catalog here now. Um, no, that's, uh, think of your veggies, your Brussels sprouts. And then you put on top, you can do like a, a brownie, not a brownie, um, cherry crumble. What are those called? Mm. Cherry cobblers. Cobbler. Um, yeah, you put that in the very top. So you can make your meat, your veggies, and then your dessert. You'd have to get bigger than that one. Uh, yeah, it might not work out too well. Um, and I think we're about coming up to the end here, Mom. The demo. All right. Almost done. I'm almost done. Oh, good. All I've right. got the trays all filled. I'm just cutting up the extras here. Let me turn your camera. Sure. There we go. There you go. Right. William. William's protecting us, everybody. So, right now, I've got my tray filled. Hope they look pretty. Ooh, oh, that's nice. Very, Ooh, that nice. Beautiful. Fancy. And then the husband brought some dip. Even though I told him I sell dips, let's not buy dips. He bought dips. <laughs> so we'll just put that in the middle. Um, but until then, this will go downstairs. Uh, we got our kids are coming over tomorrow for Mother's Day. So that's what we're doing all this chopping up for. There's another little container right behind you, Brett. Usually I use this one, and this one is uh, like what you get for your big hostess, you know, for hosting a party. When you see, sorry, step all over Denise. Mm -hmm. When you see the containers, it's not usually that size. This is the size you get, which is perfect. It's perfect for Bob and I. Um, when I do tacos, cheese, the lettuce, the tomatoes, the onions, the hot sauce in the middle you know, or hot peppers, whatever you want in there. It works up great. Um, for overfill, like I got that done, I still got a little bit extra broccoli, which I'm just going to put those in a baggie, so refill as I go. Um, the radishes and the carrots. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> well. Okay, yeah, I'll put the broccoli in this little one. There we go. That's a good idea. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll do that now. Now, to look at the picture, broccoli's not on it. There it is. It's got to be all the way open. So to be all the way open. For what? Ventilation. Ventilation. Oh, it's not your food. Oh, See? I closed mine. Well, it oh, sits down on the ground. You must not have Tupperware. You just yes. got this one. Then yeah, it should be on there, and it should be half open where oh, I, I closed it. it. I thought it, it said uh, oh. it looks like it's open. I didn't know it's, how it works. When, when it's a big circle, that means I open. just see the lettuce on ours. Was oh, it's not lettuce. I got broccoli. Oh, that's a difference. Yep. Yeah. So, so um, now I will say oh, when I'm cleaning my broccoli oh, up, up in that I do not oh, throw the, the broccoli oh, chunks so in. Good with my stock because it'll give it a really weird flavor and I don't want that so um 
what I'm going to do is I will uh, just throw them in a baggie and throw them in the freezer separately. So when I go to make up, um, you know, I'll clean them up a little, shave them off and stuff. And when I make broccoli soup, I'll have that. I will pre parboil them for 10 minutes, not even that, just enough to get the color in there, half set, and then throw them in a little baggie so I got them. But that's until then, they're going in a baggie in the fridge. Um, the radishes, okay, so we got that. Then I'm not going to use this. So, uh, the radishes in here, actually, I'm going to put the carrots, the leftover carrots at the bottom. So that we can just pick it out. And I didn't know husband had cauliflower in there. So, but, so like that. So the cauliflower, I will um, soak it in some vinegar water. And uh, just, I'll take the greens off and soak it in some vinegar water because I don't want to just chop into that. There, we do have a bowl that comes out once a year that uh, if, for people that use a whole hat of lettuce or uh, the cauliflower, oh, Brittany got it. Um, this comes out in January, I think, or February. Um, it's the bowl that's shaped weird. And you put this at the bottom of your lettuce and set the head of lettuce in there. Airtight it, and then it'll save it longer. Same goes for the cauliflower. You would Where's clean the bottom off, stick this up in the head clover of the flower, not cut it up, and just set it in there. And it'll last longer. I might even do that because that might help it out last so you longer. Pour your lettuce before you put it on that little no stick thing. You, you don't, don't have take to pour out. No, because when you take the core out of the lettuce, it's it'll go uh, wilty flesh. Right. I just just like with the that. onion. You know, yeah, if you keep them cores in, it's going to let them go a little bit Good longer. Because I'm always taking the cores out of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I need to go it. find the, 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 the lime green bowls yeah. and the pink ones. I didn't okay, so everybody. So we've pretty much got the gist of the idea. I'm going to tip you up here so you can see me. All right. So you got the gist of everything of what we're doing. And I had a wonderful time, even though I just stood here and cleaned and Miss Brittany did all the demoing. I like these kind of parties. Um, if you ever get these fold up colanders, I love them. I got this at, uh, I think it was Tar uh, Myers. Myers. And I use it all the time. I use it for when I'm canning, uh, just like this. It's wonderful. Um, another thing I do not put in my baggie is the radish. Sometimes I do, but uh, the radish will give it a real harsher flavor when it cooks up. Radish is not that great. Taste. No, it's not like a horseradish taste. It just gives it a real funky taste like huh. how the broccoli would. Huh. So, and I don't put the cauliflower in. So see, look at all the stock I got. The veggies for my stock. Off of one cutting. Not, not bad. bad. Wow. Took all the air out. I'll store it in here. Now this is pretty full. Oh, Brittany, you got your ice cream too. Hmm. Uh, I'll take my gloves off, wash my hands. I want to thank everybody for being here, stopping by. Uh, I want to always thank you guys for stopping by at my pantry. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it went a little bit long. Um, but from my pantry to yours, big hugs and God bless. Thank you all for coming. And happy Mother's Day to all the Japanese, mothers. Japanese, what did I tell you about that? Bye. Bye.